Hello, welcome to Putty for Beginners with the Click Experts. And today we will be discussing installing Putty for a Windows PC and the use for it for field technicians. Um, if you're wondering what Putty is, Putty is an open source terminal emulator that's used for several different networks as a file transfer application. Those networks are going to be protocol, SCP, SSH, Telnet, R login, raw socket connection, and what we use it for in the field technician world, serial ports. So let's get started. We're going to go to Google and type in putty. And as you can see here, you're going to see putty download. Uh, when you come on this page, you're going to see several options underneath it. Let's not worry about that. Let's go straight to down putty download and you will see package files. Now in package files, we're going to see 64 bit x86. 64-bit ARM, and 32-bit x86. Um, if you're not sure what your computer is, as far as its bits, we'll have a, another link in the description that you can go to, and I'll show you how to figure that out. But for right now, we know for sure that our computer is 64-bit x86. So we'll go there. Hit open when it's done, and we will see welcome to PuTTY release 0.77. Hit next, hit next, install putty files, hit next. Yes, we will let it change our computer. And we are all finished there. So you don't really need this page. You can read over it if you want, but we go ahead and click off because now we have putty on our computer. And now we're gonna roll right into using putty to connect to a router or a switch. So you can either, either access Putty through hitting an icon here, or you can type it in search. We'll type it in search, Putty. Thumbs up. And what you will see here is the Putty configuration. Now, for field technicians, we're gonna use Serial. Of course, there are other ports here, SSH. These are to be used for different things, raw. Um, those are different applications as far as transferring files. But in the field technician world, we're gonna be using it in a physical sense to where we're connecting the computer from the computer to a router or to a switch using a console cable. So we'll be right on serial. And a serial line on this computer is COMP1. Uh, if you're not sure what your serial line is and you want to make sure because comp one could be could be wrong could be comp two you're not sure so you want to check your computer so what we're going to do is we're going to go to start menu and look up device manager so now we're on device manager let's click this off and when you get into device manager we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for ports so ports comp and l PT. Now shows us right there that we are on the right comp comp one. This is a communications port. So if you want to get into more details as far as the communications port, we can double click that and you'll see more advanced settings here. It deals with bits per, per second, data bits, uh, different things on here, stop, flow. But we're not going to mess with those right now. The This is probably gonna be a different video, uh, or you would let your engineer take care of that once he takes over your computer through TeamViewer, which is another video also. So let's leave it in general. Um, let's click off that and let's go back to Device Manager. I'm sorry, let's go back to Putty. Okay, Putty appears, we go back to serial, comp one, and we know we're on the right track. Um, so I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, just leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, please subscribe, and we will see you on the next video. Welcome to TCE Academy. We have various courses available for your new career. Telecommunications Bootcamp, pay-per-click digital marketing and coding bootcamp. That's academy.theclickexperts.com. 
The link will be in the description. Start your new career today. Thanks for watching. Also, thank you to all those who subscribe and donate. You make it possible for us to continue creating great videos for everyone. See you again soon.